Hello everyone, thank you for watching another session of my videos. In this video I'm going to show how far the Bible is morally corrupted into a way none can imagine it's true. This act was considered by all stages of mankind as the most horrible, devilish and cunning act and all people condemned it. It's rape. And as we know, our, mor our moral foundation of society, the Bible, must have condemned that practice and must have forbidden it, of course. So grab your Bibles and I'll show you something non-human can believe, that this even the world of a human. Grab your Bibles and I'm going to show you that your priests don't want you to know about this. Deuteronomy 21 10 14 When you go out to war against your enemies and the Lord your God deliver them into your hand so that you can take captives. If you see a commonly woman among the captives and, be and became so enormous of her that you wish to have her as a wife you may take her home to your house but before she may live there she must shave her head and pare her nails very stupid and lay aside her captive's grab after she has no mourned her father and uh, mother for a full month you may have relations with her and you shall be her husband and she shall be your wife however if later on you lose your lightning for her you shall give her her freedom and she wishes it but uh, you shall not sell her or enslave her since she was married to you under compulsion so God once again approves the forcible rape. Exodus 21 7 11. For when a man sells his daughter as a slave, she will not be freed at the end of six years as the men are. If she does not please the man who brought her, she uh, he may be allowed her to bought, to be bought back again but he is not allowed to sell her to foreigners since he is the one who broke the contact contract with her and if she if he if the slave girl's owner arranged for her to marry his son he may no longer treat her as a slave girl but he must treat her as his daughter, but himself marries uh, her and take another wife, and may not reduce her food or clothing or fail to sleep with her as a wife. If he fails in any of these three ways, she must leave as a free woman without making any payment. And. Deuteronomy 22, 28, 29 If a man is caught in the act of raping a young woman who is not engaged, he must pay fifty pieces of silver to her father, then must marry the young woman because he violated her, and he will never be allowed to divorce her. So, what kind of lunatic would make a rape victim marry her attacker? That answer will be God. And then to Judges 5.30 They must be divided, the spoils they took. There must be a damsel, or two for each man. Spoils of diet clothes, as sir's spoil. An ornate shawl, or two for me in the spoil. So as we see that God says in the Bible 
if you went into a city and that city surrenders you will take the men as captives and present them and then go and rape the young women and children and by the way if they don't surrender you kill the women you kill the man you you rape the woman and take the young woman and uh, children as a sex slaves and then declares the death uh, to the uh, rape victim Deuteronomy 22 23 24 if within the city a man comes upon a maiden who is not brothered and has relations with her you shall bring them both out to the uh, of the gate of the city and there stone them to death the girl because she did not cry out for help though uh, she was in the city and the man because he violated his neighbor's hood so it's clear that God doesn't give a fuck about the rape victim he only con is concerned about the violating of another man's property and also some kind of uh, sentences in Samuel 12 uh, 11 14 you can check this out also in Deuteronomy 20 10 14 and in Numbers 31 7 18 Judges 21 10 24 so can anyone tell me how come the moral foundation of society has justified uh, this act and allowed it to its followers can you tell me how come you're the follower of Jesus and uh, God the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit and all of them uh, tells you that rape is okay can you tell me how come this is the Word of God how come uh, uh, some kind of God tells you to rape another man or another woman how come this question uh, please answer it on the comments and tell me what do you think about rape and how come a uh, holy book of course it's not holy it's a shit uh, how come a shit book uh, tells you to rape uh, others and declares that in the war you can kill women and or enslave them or take them and the six slaves or anything of that horrible acts can someone tell me how come thank you everyone